Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. A new PTR patch has gone live with some very, very interesting changes. We're going to break them down in this video for you. Let us know what you think in the comments to these. We're going to get straight into them. Now, for the custom games and game browser, players can now disable secondary fire and secondary weapons in custom games. And you can now disable one Symmetra ultimate while leaving the other still active. A couple of Cute little changes there for the custom game stuff. Now the change to Genji, remove the attack cooldown from Genji's wall climbing ability, allowing him to engage with enemies immediately after completing a climb, meaning that when Genji comes out of a climb, he can attack sooner, which is a minor buff, which is pretty cool. It's not like a big buff, won't make a huge difference, but will just be a nice little cute change every now and then. It's more of a quality of life change, and that's what the developers comments on this word too. Now hands has had the same thing done however I think it's more important for him because he can then run up a wall and charge the bow and fire it very quickly which is very very cool now his charge speed for his storm bow has been increased which means he now fires slightly faster which I like a lot a slight little change to Hanzo doesn't really make him OP but it's just a cute little difference and the second cool thing is that if you're running up a wall and you've charged an arrow before it that arrow is still charged as long as you've held the button so when you get to the top of the wall you can fire instantly so I'm thinking Hanamura first point run up the wall with a charged arrow kill someone that's camping up top there soldier I'm looking at you very very nice change to Hanzo and actually Makes him a little bit better, and he was already quite good. So these changes are going to be very interesting if they do manage to go through to live. Remember, this is all PTR and is subject to change, but it is pretty awesome. Now, the developer comments on this was to make him have a little bit more DPS, while also letting him fully charge an arrow and more quickly return full movement speed when needed. And very similar to the Genji change is more of a quality of life thing, which is really, really cool. Now, Arissa, which is very interesting, is her, she's had a damage reduced by 15%. However, she now gets her protective barrier every 8 seconds, which could be a very big deal. Now think about it this way, Reinhardt has his barrier up, it gets shredded, it takes quite a time to start getting that barrier back up. Now Orisa instantly gets her barrier every 8 seconds now. This could be very strong. We'll have to test it and we'll see and I'm sure we'll do some videos and talk about that when we've play tested it and looked at it in the meta and how things work but this is very interesting let me know what you guys think to this one this could be really really game changing she can put her down her new barrier exactly where she wants it now a lot quicker than she could before now one little cute change to reaper when you go into wraith form his stuff is automatically reloaded so that's something that you could do anyway by pressing reload and then going into wraith form but again people are saying reaper could be a bit better and people wanted him to just be that bit better and this is just a very cute again quality of life thing for reaper so now when you reload you'll get a full clip back which is very helpful to a lot of people now reinhardt's had a slight kind of a nerf to his earth shatter which is interesting and this is basically because if someone's up in the air right now you can earth shatter and it will actually get people that are up in the air so the threshold has been changed and what this is really trying to do is just fix them dodgy earth shatters that get you either up on a surface or when you're jumping as genji or even in the air as far as sometimes this is really really good because this is a, a weird bug that's been in the game since like release so it's good to see that they're making steps towards it to see what happens hopefully it'll fix it only time will tell on this one now soldier has had a very very tiny bullet damage decrease from 20 to 19 damage this is very small and hopefully will make that small difference that it needs to because he's very very good right now but it'll be interesting to see if they can get him to a place where he's not super op but still really good hopefully this can make that difference i'm not convinced it'll make much of a difference whatsoever but again time will tell now, the last few changes are all bug fixes, so I'll let them scroll down as things go. What do you think to some of these changes, guys? Because some of them are very interesting. Making Hanzo that bit better could make him super strong. Now, the one thing about him is it's still hard to hit his arrows. I know some of you don't agree, but the best Hanzos can carry a game, and we all know that the worst Hanzos are a big problem, and I'm not sure that's going to change. I think that it'll just be a little bit better for the good Hanzos. So this could be crazy for some of the Hanzo mains out there that are already wrecking. The Genji change I like because it's just a little buff and the Orisa one is the one that intrigues me the most. Try 
trying to get her down to Reinhardt's viability is something that they would have to do in order to really bring her into the meta and her having her barrier that often every eight seconds now instead of 12 could be a big game changer let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if we missed anything let us know also be sure to check out our twitter where you guys can get new updates on the game videos streams and all that cool stuff and check out our discord where you guys can find the Arissa main of your dreams be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and have a great day as always take care and peace people